All right, I'm going to show you guys how to create a really cool, simple, modal dialog box. Um, some people call this a thick box or something like that, but if you guys ever go to a page and you see something like this where a dialog shows up and it kind of covers everything else, and then you can close it and go to the page, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is on page load. So as soon as the page is refreshed or loaded, that'll come up. Now, this can be changed appearance and everything pretty simply, but I want to show you guys how to do this. So let me go back to Dreamweaver. If you guys are in Dreamweaver, you can do this in any version of Dreamweaver, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to start from scratch, so I'll go to File New, and I'm just going to create myself a really simple page here. And you guys could already have a page created, it doesn't matter. I'll create one, and it's going to give it a site, you know, all that stuff. I've got a site set up rather, sorry, over here you guys can see that. I'll save my page, and I'll save it as, you know, test or something like that, whatever you guys want to save it as, or whatever you have it as. Now. We need to go to the jQuery website, guys. This is going to require a little jQuery, but you don't need to know code to do this. It's awesome. So here's what I'll do. I'll go to Code View. I know it's a little scary for some of us, but don't worry. Go to your browser and go to jQuery.com and go to the UI section, jQuery UI. There's so many cool things in here, you guys, we can do. And you don't need to know code. That's the best part. I'm going to go to Demos and Documentation, and there's... Tons of stuff you guys can check out, how to drag stuff, accordions. I'm going to go to Dialog, click on that. And if you look, it'll show you all the different samples you can do over here. You can try, like, any, you want to do any of these, you can do them. So I'm going to say, that was really cool. <laughs> say Modal Dialog, that's what I want to do. I'll close that up. Now, it's a little little tricky once you get in here. But you guys got to follow this pretty closely. But the simplest way I've found to get this done is to scroll down, go to View Source, Copy this script. We need this little script. You'll see from opening script tag to ending script tag. Copy that. Go back to Dreamweaver. In the code you have, find the closing head tag. It looks like this. I'll put my cursor in front of it. And you guys, I'm going to change my, um, um, sorry, my, my size here real quick so you guys can see a little bit easier. Okay, there we go. Find the head. Put your cursor in front of it. Put a return. And paste that little script in there. Just paste it in there. Now go back to the code, you guys can see where it is. Go back to the jQuery page, sorry. Copy this div, this is called modal dialog, or dialog modal, excuse me. Copy that, go back over to Dreamweaver, go to your body, find the body tag, put your cursor after it, put a return, whatever you need to do, and paste. All right, now I'm gonna go to the design view, take a look, that's it, that's all we got right now. Now go back to code, scroll up a bit, Go back to the jQuery website. Okay, we're almost done with this part right here. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to add some of the, the JavaScript to get this done, but we don't want to have to do that ourselves. So, if you guys click on Download, this is going to be the easiest way to do it. Click on Google CDN. This is a hosted version of this script. We don't have to do anything with this, you guys. You can see I already clicked on it. Let's try it. But go to jQuery, click on that, and you guys are going to see jQuery path right here. Copy this. Make sure you get the whole path. Copy that. I'll go over to Dreamweaver again. And what we're going to do, I know this is a little odd, we're going to put a little script tag in here. So I'm just going to type in script, type equals, and you guys can just pause the video to get this done. SRC equals, and paste it in those SRC tags right there. And then you guys can close this up. Close the script like this, and there we go. Now, what I want you to do, like I said, you can pause the video and look at it again, but I'm going to copy this tag from opening script to closing script, copy it, hit a return after it, and paste another one in there. We need another link to another script. There's two scripts required to get this to work. I'll go back over to the browser, same page here, jQuery UI. This is the UI code here, so I'm going to copy this stuff right here, copy that, go back to Dreamweaver, and I'm going to replace this script right here. You guys see what I've selected between the quotes, okay? Paste to replace it, and there we go. Now, if I go to Design View, click on Live View, you guys will see it's working, but it doesn't look very pretty, okay? So we need to get some CSS for this. So I'll go to Code View, I'll save the page, go back to the browser. Now we're gonna go back a little bit, you guys, so I'm gonna hit my back button on my browser here, Back button again, get back to this, to jQuery right here. And then what I want you guys to do is you're going to see jQuery UI, go to themes, 
Click on that. And I know this is going to be kind of odd, but we're going to go back and forth a little. Go to Gallery, and you guys can pick whatever theme you want here. So I'm going to pick UI Darkness. I'll click Download right there. It'll take me to the same page. Like I said, we go back and forth a little bit. It's going to select all the stuff we need to download. Over here on the right, sorry, I'm jumping around. Over here on the right, you guys can change the theme. You can do some different things. Just click Download. It'll download it. Now, this is where it gets a little weird. you got to find this little zip file it creates or a little whatever. If you're on a Mac, it might be a little different. Save it somewhere. We need to unzip it to get at it. Okay, you guys, and I've tried this a couple times to make sure it works. I'm going to come over here and double-click on it from my downloads. Find it however you can, you guys. Now, on Mac, you're probably going to have to unstuff it or whatever. On Windows, I'm going to have to extract all files. I'll do that. I'll just extract it in the same folder. It's just a zip file. It's just going to grab this stuff out of it. Now, follow this closely, you guys. You're going to see Development Bundle. Double-click on that. Double click on themes, come to UI darkness and double click all of this stuff we need to copy and put into our site in Dreamweaver. So let me go to Dreamweaver, I'll show you a quick way to do that. I'll go to Dreamweaver, make sure you guys had a site set up, I kind of quickly mentioned that in the beginning, but if you don't have a site to make it a little harder. The site set up, you guys can right click on the site folder, choose explore on Windows, or I think it's like reveal and finder on Mac, and what that does just opens the folder. Otherwise, you guys, if you know where the folder is for your site, just go find it. Take this stuff and either make a folder to put it in in your site or just drag it over and stick it in here. There we go. Close all this stuff up. I just took everything from that UI darkness folder, whatever theme you guys had. Don't worry about all the stuff I got on my desktop. I got a lot of crap. <laughs> now, I'm going to go to design view. It's going to be a little odd. Go over to CSS styles. Link. To the new style sheet we created. Now you guys can't see it here yet because I need to refresh. I'll click refresh. There it all is. We're going to link to the jQuery UI all CSS. This is actually going to include everything. So click on the link, attach style sheet, jQuery UI all. Go ahead and browse for it if you need to. jQuery UI all. Click OK. Click OK. Yeah, I'm in live view. If you guys take a look, awesome. Look at that. Now go out to the browser, save your page, do all that stuff. Check it out. See what it looks like. And let me bounce back over to the browser, not downloads. And there we go. Check that out. Now, what's interesting about this, you guys, is you can change the CSS. All that CSS you can edit if you know how to. This is draggable. It's also resizable. Okay, now if you don't want that, I'll show you a little trick to stop that. If you guys are back in the jQuery page, I'm back in the browser here. Sorry to jump around. And I go to Demos and Documentation, once again. And then come down here. You guys are going to see Dialog again. Click on that. If you click on modal dialog, get rid of this then. It just shows you what it looks like. Scroll down. You guys are going to see options. Let's suppose that I don't want it to be draggable. If I come to draggable here, click on the arrow to open it up, you guys are going to see this. Draggable false. Copy that. And any matter of fact, any one of these, you guys, draggable, if you want to make it so they cannot resize it, let's say, just find the resizable false or whatever it is in there. Copy that. Go back to Dreamweaver. Come back to your code view. And you guys, that little script we copied in, you're going to see height equals and modal equals. Put your cursor after the, the modal true here. Put a comma, a return, and paste. And we can put as many of these in here as we want. Draggable, resizable, whatever. True or false, try it. Okay. You want the height to be different? Try a different height, 160. I'll save it. I'll go take a look at it in the browser, see what we get. Let me pop back over, and there we go. You guys actually see it's no longer draggable, but it's still resizable. So there's a lot of things I can do to change this. And whoops, it just, just crashed on me, sorry. <laughs> that won't happen, I'll guarantee you. Anyway, there you go. That's working with a cool little modal dialog to be able to put in your page when you guys are working in Dreamweaver.